<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen! You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Neo! The World Ends With You! Last time left off, we were taking care of our second scramble slab, which I handled without any issue, really. I decided to go just a bare minimum because it was going to take way too damn long to get all those points that I, frankly, wanted, but so be it. Now, we are on day uh, four, there we go, and we have to unravel the city's riddles. And it says we gotta head to Tipsy Toes Hall. Well, what I did off screen was I actually went to every other place besides Tipsy Toes Hall, and I did some fighting, I bought some stuff, and uh, yeah, like I uh, I did quite a bit here. I even went to the very expensive place, the, um, what was it called? The Il Cavello del Rey, whatever the hell. That place, I don't know what, has like 100,000 uh, yen pin, whatever, and, or like the, yeah, like the psych pins and the clothing. I did all that. Let me and, think you know, I have through. some of them on, like this uh, fancy au noir and, and God knows what else, wherever else is nice wristwatch. So, uh, yeah, I did all that off screen and I leveled up. I'm at where level I am now. 55? I don't even know what the hell I started at, to be quite honest with you guys. Hmm. Uh, in terms of pins, I did finally level up whatever one I was working on. Frankly, I can't even remember what the hell it was. But now I'm working on the St. Assis's Shrapnel, which it's not super strong per se, but what is nice about it is it does have the HP Vampire ability, which gives us a little bit of HP back every time we hit an enemy. It's all based on or relative to the damage dealt, so it's going to take time to level this up, but, you know, hopefully by level 10, it's actually something nice. And I still I have these uh, pins off everybody else. Uh, to kind of get things going, you know, it's strong, so be it, you know. Uh, what else did I want to do? What oh yeah, do? there's also a couple of quests here. There's like two in Dogenzaga and one in the West Exit Bus Terminal. So I decided to leave that until I came back to do this recording. So let's go ahead and head off to the West Exit Bus Let's Terminal. Move. See what the hell's up with the uh, whoever needed something here. So, and I, I know there's a um, a food shop here, but I am full. Frankly, I don't even remember if I bought anything here previously at all. But as you see here, it's kind of like whatever stuff. So, for coming. Uh, I don't know if there's really a, a good reason to go there, but so be it. Hey there, we meet again, Wiki Twisters. Hmm. Yeah, nobody's happy. What? The hell are you? What? Oh, don't tell me you forgot me about me already. I'm Sumio, the from Pure Hearts. Remember me from yesterday? Nah. Uh. Seriously? Oh, I remember you all right. <sighs> you tried to do us in, you cheater. Oh, that? Oh, so sorry. It won't happen again. What do you want? Nothing big, really. I was just hoping for some advice. What kind of advice? Uh, Matoy messaged uh, the team, but I can't quite figure out how to respond. Oh, it's easy. You just tap the empty bar, start typing, and... Uh... I know that! What I mean is Matoy's always using all those fancy foreign words. It's hard to follow! Ah, uh, yes. By the time I think I've got a handle on it, he spots off some more gibberish. Dude, I know exactly what you mean. I know he expects us all to keep up with him, but I'm having a hell of a time matching his pace. Why don't I just tell him just straight up? Why don't I just tell him that straight up? Yeah, no, this is a middle school. Stuff like that doesn't really fly in proper society. Real adults have to work, walk in step with their superiors, not the other way around. Super basic stuff. <sighs> Why not go ask some real adults for advice then? I would, but. For some reason, Matoy's taking a liking to you a lot. Uh, uh, taking, taking a liking to you a lot. Really? Yeah, he says some real nice things about you guys. So I thought you might be able to help me find the right words. Matoy talks about us? About me? Uh, he sure does. So what do you say? Can you spare a few wise words to say to Matoy? 
since you asked so nicely. Thus, the bait is taken. Ugh, let's just get this over with, yo. All we gotta do is send a brother a reply, yeah? <sighs> right, but we gotta do it all adult-like. So, what does this message say? It says, uh... <laughs> here, it'll be easier for you to re read it yourself. Well, let's see. When it comes down to it, we're all compadres in this game, capiche? So I thought we could have a little... Rem what? Remuminage? I mean, pourquoi no, right? Uh, but enough of, from moi, I'd like some commentaries from everyone. I, I kind of think I got some of it? <sighs> Not a single person has responded. Wow. I'm pretty sure he just wants to know how we feel about joining forces of other teams. Sound right to you? Really? Uh, hell if I know. Well, let's assume. He sends a lot of messages like this. I feel like everyone sets a new standard of illegibility. And even if you don't even if you do understand it, how the heck are you supposed to respond, you know? I can't just leave it on red. It'll make all us, it'll make all of us including Matoy look bad. <laughs> Lord Rindo, are you up to the task? I don't know. But I'll give it a shot. There's no time to look for answers. I'm on my own. I just have to think like another. But what do you say in this situation? Um, how would you respond? Agree to everything. Meh. Be as anothery as possible, which is kind of hit or miss. How you really feel? I, don't, I mean, I feel like deep down he would say that, but I don't feel like it won't look right. So, I, I, I'm going to take a guess here. Why not try using a quote? Quotes are always safe. Don't have to come up with anything yourself that way. Maybe something like... There. Sent. Hmm? Ooh, let me see. Charging for Wi-Fi is like taxing the air we breathe. What? Yes. It's something that... Uh, not, uh, I mean, Matoy says a lot. Hmm? He does? Yeah, maybe it's fine then. And even if it's not, I'll just do some reparos. Reparos? Is that how you use that word? I do not believe you can revise the message once delivered. <laughs> well, that's one item checked off my to-do list. Leave the rest to me. The rest of what? Yo, I don't think that brother's all there. <sighs> Surely devastating words coming from one such as yourself. But no matter. Let us be off. Right. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need to brush up on another quotes after this. Really? I did it? Okay. Ooh, I got Ori Kalkum as well. Nice, two of them. And five friendship points! And a social network for Sumio. Cool. Actually, you know what? Mm -hmm. Actually, is there anything new here at the Shepherd House? New. No. But I what would like to uh, look mm. at my social network here. See what we got here. Um, actually, there's quite a bit here. What? So here's Sumio. Ooh. Hold the R2 button while scanning and draw in nearby noise. That actually might be kind of helpful to get nice chains. All right. Why the hell not? Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, so I, I since I bought some stuff from this guy, I got level 3 from Black Honey Chili Cookie. And this will allow us to get some side gore shoes. Okay. Uh, we also have something up here. Add special items to the restaurant's menu at Cutie Pies. Okay. Uh, there's also this guy. He's the, the guy from Il Cavallo del Rio staff. Uh, he'll actually give us the Bele Beleza Suprema? That sounds kind of cool. Sounds like a Final Fantasy item. Oh, ooh. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. I know there's a couple of these I haven't used yet, including the one from Uzuki. But so be it. Uh, okay, cool. Oh crap, you know what I forgot to do? Let's see if any of that stuff is good. How's this look? So, I, Rindo has this odd now. Increases defense while in mortal peril, which isn't terrible, but okay. And on point. he has a side gore. What does that do? Uninterruptible, so that's good. 
And I'll just swap out everything. I look pretty sick. All right. So that candle, the uh, actually, did I? Let me see something else really quick. I can't really tell the noise are, any, are new here. Like, so that's me. That's me sucking it in. <laughs> but I'm curious about what the hell this noise is right here. Oh, ooh, it's just a bunch of these bastards. So, there you go. Oh, fire's probably not good here because these guys are fire-based. So, fudge. Yeah, I, I don't like these enemies whatsoever, but whatever. And it's only one of these things I'm fighting, too, so it, it is what it is. So this is Bolt Hound or Bolt Boar. I keep saying Bolt Hound. I think that's a damn Pokemon. But uh, I, I, I like it for what it is. It's just, I get confused because it's like I have to use the left analog stick as well. And I guess, like, my... I mind coordination shabby. isn't really great there, but it works. All right, and you know what? I'm kind of glad I did that because I didn't even realize. I didn't even check for pig noises here. A lot of nerve taking me on, yo. All right. Party is equipped to win. Ah, uh, crap! This is the one where you got to defeat both of them Feel at the same the time, heat. right? I think. <laughs> Um. Okay, it's not your turn. Crap, crap, crap. I don't think I'm done. Oh, crap. Oh, man, that was close. You gotta be a little strategic with it, but it wasn't terrible. What did I get for that? Wow, another 10,000 yen pin, which I don't even think I sold one of those. Let's have a best move. I'm going to take a quick look around and see if I'm not missing anything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm also trying to, like, take a look at this, like, uh, like noise magnet thing. I feel like it doesn't really uh, suck in the way I like it to. Unless I'm mistaken. It just doesn't really seem that great. Hmm. Well, so be it. Now I'd like to go to Doginzaka, because I believe there's two uh, things I want to do there. Let's have a look. Uh, did I? I think I came here before. Hold on. Like, off camera. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, these noise, the, like the chameleons and whatever, they kind of suck. Uh, so Doginzaka, I can eat, and that's about it. But there's two, two different... Uh, Quests here Let's along move. with, uh... Well, we'll see what type of noise they have here. Oh, man. Actually, do I need to eat or am I still full? I am still very full. Never mind. And the type of noise here... So what is focus. that? I don't know why I keep getting confused by the type of noise here. Let me let me just see what the get hell it is. Way. Sorry. And get shredded, yo. This might be the Let's same, uh... Carefully. This might be the wolves again. Oh, no, it's these guys. Whoops. Okay. Yes, got it. it's, they're not nice terrible. Run, like, if, as long as you, like, hit them from the back, it's not bad at all. It's just, once again, it, it's coordination to get all this to get all this down. Like, jeez, what the hell's... What's wrong with me? Jeez. Now, it has been some time since I played the game. I would say maybe, like, a week. i, I just been extremely busy. So... I, I'm going to be a little rusty. I mean, it is what it is. Um, but uh, it feels good to play this game. I, I've really been enjoying it. I hope you guys have been as well. So I'm just excited to see what else is going to happen here. Could have been worse. And eh, same old stuff. All right. Okay. Well, there is one guy up here, and I saw Let's that he's uh. He has noise affecting him. So, let's we'll see what the hell's going on here. Uh, that's Gato Nero. The hell are you talking about? Uh, that guy's hoodie. Oh, well, we saw someone wearing that other wearing that the other day, right? Wait, is it the same guy? Uh-huh. 
it appears the poor fellow has been possessed. Now that you mention it, he is giving off a pretty funky aura. Alas, we may have no choice but to go on to uh, go on the offensive. Right. You said it, yo. Let's do one of them extinctions. Yes. Uh, close enough. Anyway, let's do this. All right. Let's see how this is. So Taku Ihama. Gotta focus. I wonder what he's gonna give us for this. For your sister, I came all the way from Kansai to uh, Kansai. Uh, World's End Club. To buy some Gato Nero for my kid sister, but that cashier was so cute, I bought a ton of stuff just to see her smile. Hope I can still afford rent. Oh boy! What an awful affliction. Uh, wow. That's recommended level. I'm level... F f seriously, 46? That's me being like 9 levels down or 10, whatever? Uh, fine! Okay. So let's hope I can actually get gold. I I've been kind of slacking on these. We got this in the back! We got HP drain. We got those stupid uh, like grizzly bear thing. All right. So, let's see what I can do. I barely took care of one. No, no, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Okay, where, where's the rest? Uh, are you ready for this? We have a lot of time, I just realized. We have like, Let's keep it up. I think we started We're off at up. five minutes to do this. Holy crap. I know uh, I'm, I'm just worried about that guy's gonna hit me. Okay. Now, which of these is the. Oh, here it is. Sometimes I get confused about which one is the one we need to beat. Okay. Could have gotten. Could have gone better. Took like 30 seconds for that one fight. A little more than that. I think we've got this. That was green. I don't think I've ever seen green before. Healthy yeah. erasure? Nailed it. We're on a roll. I don't know what that is, but that is, uh, Let's keep that's scary. And, well, frankly, wait a minute. I think I just got rid of them all. They were weak to something. I don't know what, but I'm just kind of glad that went as smoothly as it did. Hmm. Okay. Just be careful. So this should be our last fight. Ooh. The bears and they do increase damage. So I'm probably going to get hit here bad because I just, uh... That was perfect. Yeah. I just kind of go crazy on fighting here, so... Alright. Let's see. Hopefully that's good. Get some of my health back, maybe? No, I guess not. What happened? I didn't even see him attack. Are you kidding me? Oh. Well then. Ain't that some booty. Okay, so I'm back doing this third battle. Um, I'm going to see if I can do this again. All right, I'm using a 200% drop here now. I still got hurt terribly. I'm trying to get rid, of, get rid of at least one of these guys. Um, oh my god, he almost hit me. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. I, I just have to pay attention here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, like I guess it's, I should take my time. All right. Okay. Okay. That that's good. The reason I I went into that the first time just. Gung ho! I don't know about oh, there's this. a fourth one. Oh, it's HP drain too. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try to. Oh, I should have probably waited. Uh, that's my bad. Um. Man, so wait a minute. How? I don't know how often they're gonna throw in more of now. Because before it used to be only three fights. Now it's like. Uh, now it's at least four. Something tells me it's not going to just be four. It's probably going to be five. Crap. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one now, guys. Or no, maybe, maybe that was it. Okay, no, that was it. Ooh. So what the hell decided that was going to be four this time around? Well, regardless. I leveled up that pin. I got all six of my friendship... Uh, points there. In terms of pins, same old stuff, but what is nice 
You see this, the Ever Arctic Treasure? You get those from those Jack Penguin things, or J Penguins, whatever the hell they're called. These pins actually sell for quite a bit, normally. They're like 2,000 each. So if you're looking for a good way to get some money around here, probably fight those enemies. There we go. Well, it was fun while it lasted, but it's time to move on. Still suck with all these Mr. Mew dolls, though. My sister's getting more presents than she bargained for. Hi. I respect a brother that loves his little sis. All right, team. Let's bounce. Nice work, Nagi. Phew. <sighs> that might have been a little callback to Rhyme. I really hope she appears in some capacity or they talk about her. Taku, all right. Now, let's what see what his social network thing's all about. If I can find him. I don't think I, I see him here. I mean, he must be unlocked, but I just don't see uh, his portrait thing. Uh, oh, so there he is. Uh, interesting. Slow-mo rare noise. Slows down the speed at which rare noise symbols move. Hmm. It's not bad. Um, but he's attached to this lady. Reaching level 3 for Gatonero, which I did, but I gotta get this connection made, I guess, with this guy. Monocro. Oh man, I haven't been there in a while. Where is that? Is that the Yudagawa Backstreet? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Maybe I'll go there when I'm done at Tipsy Toes Hall. We'll see. Gotta focus. Yeah. All right, we gotta find the other person now. Actually, I still don't need to eat. Oh. Hey, Rin dude, you hungry? Me? Uh, I mean, not really. <laughs> Honestly, neither am I. But I got the sudden craving for curry. And once the craving hits, I just gotta have some. Or else. <sighs> well, that's the part where you get scared. Oh, no. I'm so scared. Huh? Yo, I'm with Fret. I could go for a nice bowl of curry. See, Rin, dude? Beat, beat gets me in a way you never will. Stop being dramatic. Why don't you just go get the... Just wanna, why don't you just go to the dance? Uh, right. Yes! I need to come around. All right. See what he wants this time around. What? Hold up. Ain't this a ramen joint? It used to be. But now they do curry. Three of them, if I'm not mistaken. Man, I'm starving! Oh no. You're kidding. The place is packed to the max! Glad to see business is booming, at least. The Don shirt looks busy. Not just busy, but overwhelmed. And understandably so. Oh, mm. uh, come on. Let's line up with everyone else. Oh. Oh, the chicken is curry is positively exquisite. Marinated to perfection. And do I detect the richness of expertly tempered cumin? Yep. Not to mention the base. Oh, the depth is reminiscent of a hearty robin broth. Oh, and these finishing spices. That's an entirely new culinary experience. Damn, I feel like all sophisticated just listening to that. Uh, oh, that's Buddy Rapids from the Shubia Historical Society. Fascinating. Far be it from him to miss the opening of a remarkable new shop in Shubia. Didn't think he'd be into into this curry though. Actually, that's just one. That's there's just one thing amiss. Huh? Disgraceful! Don't you know who I am? Enough! I'm leaving. Uh. uh Thanks. C come again. How utterly infuriating. What the hell is that all about? What's up with him? Indeed. Something must have fouled his mood. Maybe the curry was bad? Doubt it. He wiped the whole plate clean. Oh, dang it. I completely forgot to give him a glass of water. <laughs> What's got into me? Huh? You don't think... Is that what Buddy was all pissy about? Huh? All that over a glass of water? Seriously, it's not that big of a deal. Mistakes happen all the time. 
especially when you're as busy as the Don is right now. Perhaps we in interpreted the absence of water as an affront to his per personage. Man. How? It's just water! Mm. With prestige comes pride, and pride is easily wounded. I suspect he may have spread word of today's perceived subpar experience. Painting himself as a victim of a poor service, naturally. The Don doesn't deserve that! It was just a mistake! We gotta sort this out. Huh. He can't go gone far, yo! We can still catch him! Right. Yeah, let's follow after him. Seriously, buddy? You're gonna be that damn, uh. You're gonna be that idiotic with it, huh? Let's move! So, I'm gonna assume he's around here, like he's still in Dogenzaka. Uh, well, it's not up here. Oh, well, there he is. Never mind. It made it easy for me. Found him! Over here! Yep. Spicy Curry Don, eh? You'll rue the day you left me parched without refreshments? What? What's he doing? Is he gonna call someone? Or leave a bad review? I don't know, but it looks like we were right well, we were right about what made him so angry. We have to stop him! We can't let him smear his shit all over the net! Uh, Agreed. We should resolve this misunderstanding quickly. Imprinting may be our best bet. Right, let's do it. I probably don't have the right words right look. now, but let's just see what I can do. Um... Maybe, like, tasty curry? Here's an idea. Maybe that's enough to imprint? I don't know. This sauce is incredibly rich and flavorful. I can honestly say I've never tasted anything like that in my life. I, it was so scrumptious, I cleaned my entire plate. I'll definitely be back for more. Actually... Oh, that curry, though. It was extraordinary. Eating it was like entering into an uncharted world of culinary delight. All right. I must inform all my fellow uh, enthusiasts, curry enthusiasts. <laughs> Whew! Price is averted. Yeah. Ah, thank goodness for that. Still, God's got God's got a real stick up his ass. Getting all heat over some lousy water. It may seem trivial, but from his perspective, his most basic expectations were not met. I may have made him feel unwelcome. It made him. It may have made him feel unwelcome, or as if he was being deliberately provoked. None of this is true, of course. It was merely a mistake. But that doesn't change how he felt about it, and those feelings negatively impacted his overall experience. Everything else could be perfect, just but just one mistake, and suddenly the entire meal's ruined. The human mind is a volatile and fickle thing. <laughs> you think? Ah. <sighs> It still don't make sense to me. Yeah, you don't seem like type to get a to get a to let a slip up get in the way of a good meal. Uh, of course not. Nothing, nothing could get me enjoying my food. Someone put a lot of time and effort into making it. No way I'm dissing the love they put in. <laughs> wow, B, that's really sweet, actually. So are we okay with not eating any curry? No way. Let's head back. Hopefully, it's not sold out. I'm still not hungry, but I guess we're not done yet. No! Sold out! Ah, uh, too bad. <sighs> uh, it's okay, Tummy. Maybe next time. Bummer, yo. Guess we'll just have to try again tomorrow. Uh-huh. Hark, could that be the prince? <sighs> oh, brother. If he's here, then this place will be crawling with his followers tomorrow. But, but, my curry! Leave some for me! Reminds me of that guy from the Deep River Society we met here. Hope he managed to get a bowl for himself. Gotta add a Manti for that, and five friendship points, and Buddy Rapid's social network. Let me think this Let's see what his does. If I can find him, that is. So he's all the way here in the left, so I don't have the connection for it. So what does he do? Hmm. Increases the frequency which rare, which rare noise symbols appear. Hmm. So, I basically have some of these already. Well, some. But what's, what's this? Hmm. 
So I got that. I need to get this connection here, which I gotta order through. I have to place three orders at Spicy Curry Don. And I can get this and that one, actually. Um, okay. Well, all in due time, then. Um, gotta what I would like to do... I'm just looking around to see if there's any other type of... Uh, Noise, or excuse me, um, let's move. Pig noise, which I, I don't think there is here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. So, if I'm not mistaken, both of these take me to oh, east, right? They do. I really don't have a reason to go to oh, east. So, I guess, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go to where I need to go finally for the, for this episode. I mean, I'm happy. What Look do? what I did. I, I I did all the quests. I'm happy. Let's we got move. friendship points. You know, I I always say like if you're playing any type of RPG, I always recommend to do the extra stuff. You know, yes, a lot of it could be padding. I'm not gonna lie, but for me, it's like you know, it increases the experience a little bit. Now, it, you gotta be, it has to be a good balance, because if you do it for all the stupid reasons, then you're just gonna get, you know, uh, bored. It may not do the main story, but I just like doing side stuff in a lot of games I play. Even though I may not be, like, a 100% completionist, it's alright to me. Alright, is there actually, uh, new things here? There's not. Okay. But Let's I move. do see a Reaper blocking the way into Tipsy Toe's Hall. Oh. Come on now. You kids know a drill. You gotta take care of a little mission first if you want past me. And I bet you already know exactly what I wanted you to do. Let me guess. Unravel the city's riddles and report our findings? Yeah. Bingo! And you'll be reporting to me. Now, let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. The riddles you need to look into are urban legends. Oh, I can't get enough of those. This is going to be fun. Hmm. Now, I'm, now, I'm not talking just about any old legends. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean the dankest ones in these seven districts. Oh, man. I was just all over the place. Well, that's what happens when you do it beforehand. It's up to you to uncover the top two... The, the, it's up to you to uncover the two spooky for TV truths behind them. Give me goosebumps. Just imagine what secrets are out there. Anyway, I'll give you points for each juicy nugget information you bring me. Rack up 100 points and I'll step aside. Huh? What if we just, like, looked up all the answers on our phones right now? I thought you might say that. <sighs> Seriously, players these days just can't take their damn eyes... Can't take their eyes off their damn phones. I see. Hm. I see you're taking the necessary precautions. All the most famous videos on the subject have been deleted. Well. <laughs> that wasn't us, kid. Those videos were removed because they got too close to the truth. So you're saying the person who uploaded those videos was on was onto something, huh? Huh. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's look it up. Who posted those videos anyway? Um uh, Makastri? I don't know. Ostensibly a famous expert in the occult. Ahem! Hmm. Apparently his hobbies include living in stig stigmatized properties and uploading videos. And his first video to go viral was, about all, was all about urban legends. He even appeared on TV a few times. Eh, guess he was kind of famous. Hey. Then it sounds like it's my time to shine! Huh. Oh, word! It's like it's perfect for this, yo! Since you got some plan uh, in the making, just don't try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll know if you're lying. Hmm. So there's supposed to be some kind of urban legend around here, huh? <laughs> Apparently. Yet I've tried a variety of terms and all of my searches have been fruitless. It seems all information was indeed erased. I guess that Reaper is right about our phones being no use. Alright, Fred. You know what we have to do. Hey! Uh, you good? Huh? Huh? Oh, my bad. I got a little lost in thought there. Dude, this isn't a game. Well, you know what I mean. 
It's just focus, okay? I am focused, thank you very much. I'm just thinking about our team's future. Anyway, let's do this. Got to think about urban legends and about our man, Makastri. Which I'm sure I'm not saying his name right, but so be it. Let's have a look. Let's get down to business. All right, so let's see what I can unravel here. Well, kind of good there. Almost. There we go. Try to remember. That's a weird looking picture, but all right. All right. So that should have helped us a little bit. Let's see if anybody knows anything. Let's go down this alley. Up oh, here we are. Remind. Urban legend on Center Street, Market Street was talking about the one where people step into a changing room and suddenly disappear. That's kind of creepy. This is a most troubling story. Changing rooms are supposed to be sacred places. You think somebody's been kidnapping peeps? Who knows? Might find out we can check the store, store ourselves. Mm -hmm. What are we waiting for? Let's head to Ho Hog Fang. Ah, sounds good to me. All right. Hogu! Did someone just scream? Um. Excuse me. We just heard a pretty loud noise and. Oh, hey. Hey. So, like I was saying, any idea what that noise was? No, it's just the customer. They one minute they were trying on an outfit, and the next they were gone. Huh? So you're saying people have been vanishing after using your changing rooms? How'd you know? Wait, it's true. Wait, could you tell us a bit more? Sure. So just a second ago, this person was, you know, trying on some clothes. But then they left the changing room and made for the exit. I went after them, but they just. Vanish into thin air. And you're sure they didn't just walk out the door. Positive. It's a head scratch, all right. You think it's... No, never mind. Come on, you can't leave us hanging mid-sentence like that. Well, this... It's been around... It has been happening a lot around here lately. Which means... There's a good chance it's going to happen again real soon. Maybe. Thanks. Come on, team. Let's move. We'll be sure to buy something next time, buddy. Oh, that'd be great. Well, if you have something new for me, that's cool, you know, but... Um... Let's move. I guess we're gonna go to Shepherd House. Maybe the same thing's happening over here. There aren't many other stores we can actually go inside. Well, let's give this one a try. Wow, people are getting plenty of use out of those changing rooms. There goes another one. Wait. Are you sitting right for the exit? He hasn't even paid yet. Well, fishy to say the least. Come on, let's go after him. So, was that size okay for you, sir? Hey, where are you going? Hey! What the heck was that? That would be called a scumbag. Look, the thief just left the store. Hey. And there's a clerk. It's like he vanished the thin air. Yeah, am I going crazy? Huh? Uh, he's right in front of you, ma'am. Looks like our culprit's a player. Oh, which explains why the clerk can't see him. Oh, I give up. Do you suppose that pers personages or personages the origin of the area's urban legend? <sighs> Maybe, but I still want to know what that brother's deal is. Well, only one way to find out. Let's ask him. So yeah, it makes sense because they don't see them. You know, because they're in the UG technically, but when they have these stickers on the stores, that mean that they can use them as if they're in an RG. So, huh. Still scummy. Um. Hey, you got a minute? Excuse you? Oh, and what do the icky twisters want, want with little old me? You're a player, right? What team are you on? <laughs> I guess there's no harm in telling you. I'm the very beauties. Oh. I really don't want to start anything with Kanon's team. I wonder if she even knows about this. Huh? 
So, you got something to say, or... Oh, um... Come on, spill it. You pay for those clothes? Um... Are you, like, stalking me or something? Hey, punk. Don't make me ask again, punk. If it's a fight you're looking for, you know, I'll gladly oblige. Great. Just great. Yeah, we were hoping to avoid, like, avoid this, because as Rindo said, we don't want to start crap with Kanan, <laughs> but... Done for. I mean, they, they're... They kind of force our hands now, so... Whatever. I don't feel bad. And one more... Rock thing. Alright. Everything reload. Taste my gold! Alright, there we go. Come uh, on, get that 200. There we go. It's so satisfying to get that up to 100. Alright, how are we doing? We're doing alright. Finish this up a little bit. Uh, there we go. See, the fights are going a little bit more smoothly now that we have four players again. Awesome. Lovely launcher. It says it's not new, but I don't remember even mastering it. I may have. I'll double check that. <sighs> I'm sorry, okay? I've just been stressed out lately. That's your that's your excuse, huh? I figured a little retail therapy would help. Does it still count if you don't actually pay? Well. Look, I won't do it again, I promise. I just couldn't help myself. The second I realized I could take the clothes and disappear, I, well, I had to try it out at least once. <sighs> But those days are all behind me now. I'm so over it. Mm. You sure about that? 100%. Uh. Honestly, it's more trouble than it's worth. I'll even return all the stuff I stole. I, please. You better. What's got you so stressed out anyway? Uh. What, been fighting with your friends or something? No, we're fine. I'm just tired of this gross game is all. You wouldn't understand. It's only your second week after all. Anyway, I'm outie. Don't want to want the don't want the gang to miss me too much. So that's the thing. We don't I, I, unless the game hasn't Seriously, really told yeah. us. I don't really recall how long the Ruinbringers have been winning this game so far because it, and they do the same wish every single time. Let's do another round. Let's do another round. So how many weeks have these players been playing the game? You know. You better pay. You better pay next time, yo. <sighs> I feel him though. This game really wears a brother out. Still doesn't excuse him shoplifting. Not in my book, anyway. I mean, paying the price is part of what makes shopping so fun. The only thing that beats finding a good bargain is saving up for something you can't buy right away. You feel so accomplished when you finally get what you wanted. Ah oh, well, none of that matters right now. I see. I concur. Anyway, that's what, Mr. Solve. Let's report, report, uh, let's report back to Reaper. Got some Ori Kalkin hey. for that, too. Ah, oh, Uziki, nice to see you. Well, well, if it isn't my favorite team. Hey there, Uziki. The show. Pinky, what you doing here? Just checking up to make sure you're playing a game like you're supposed to. After all, it's my ass that's on the line if you lot decide to slack off, you know. You sound exactly like Shoka. It's like you guys are babysitting us or something. Hey, back in my day, being a Reaper meant getting your hands dirty. Now y'all now you're just a bunch of security cameras, yo. Huh? You wanna say that again? It's not like I'm sitting on the sidelines because I want to or anything. Eh, must be tough following the rules when you're used to making them. Anyway, Pinky, there's something I wanted to ask you. What? How come I'm here? You know, in the UG. Did you hit your head after the last game? It's because you died, obviously. Now, see, th that's what you would think, right? But I ain't even close to dead. Huh? Wait, 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 say that again? I'm serious this time. Well, normally you remember dying, right? But I can't remember nothing. And it don't feel like I'm forgetting nothing either. Well, if that's true, and but let me be clear, there's no way it is, then you'd be violating the rules by, of reality just by being here. It would be like you never existed in Yarji at all. 
like, never existed ever? Wait, is that why all our posts disappeared? Don't tell me you three are in the same boat as him! Uh. Alas, our merry group has like, likewise nary a recollection, recollection of, our, 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 uh, of our own untimely demises. What is going on here? This is above even the Game Master's pay grade. Only the composer could deal with a royal mess like this. If your hypothesis is indeed correct, would you be will we be capable of returning to RG eventually? Honestly, I couldn't say either way. Uh-oh. The answer nobody wanted to hear. Maybe they play by a different set of rules in Shinjuku. Shinjuku? The city got got a race three years ago three years ago, yo. Huh? What do you mean erased? How could a whole city just vanish? Like an ancient civilization that fell into ruin, perhaps? Right, you were in the RG. Of course you wouldn't know. <sighs> but I knew Pinky. I saw the whole thing. Which you could only do because you've been to the UG before. Okay, I'm totally lost all over again. Simply put, Shinjuku was a city that got wiped out three years ago. It was just north of Shibuya, you know? Okay. Well, it's actually kind of interesting. Like, th of course, the whole series takes place in Shibuya, but wouldn't it be interesting if we actually went to, like, places like, you know, Akihabara or uh, Makano? I don't know. I think that'd be kind of interesting. <sighs> uh, was it? I don't remember that. Yeah, I think we know if there's something getting destroyed right next door. Actually, you wouldn't. The second Shinjuku vanished, your memories of, of it followed suit. Like our brains got wiped? Basically, as far as the RG and the inhabitants are concerned, Shinjuku never existed. This is way creepier than those urban legends. And the Reapers who watched over Shinjuku back then are the same ones running the show in Shibuya right now. What, you just let them rock up and, uh, you just let them rock up and take over without a fight? It wasn't quite that straightforward. Anyway, normally there'd be some kind of penalty if a living player took part in the game. But rules never met, never met much to the Shinjuku gang. Nothing they do would surprise me at this point. Either way, something's gotta change around here or you'll all wind up the same as Shinjuku. You mean it'll be like we never ever existed? Right, so I'd focus on picking up points instead of mopping around, moping around if I were you. Later. Ugh, this combo's been a real downer. I'm gonna get, time to get my ramen and, and on for a little pick-me-up. Bye-bye! Well, that was quite a revelation. Though it does appear why I have not received word from my friends and family. It does explain why. So, even if we finish in first, we still don't know for sure if everything will go back to normal. <laughs> The thought of perishing without first playing the latest Elestra chapter is too much to bear. I can't do nothing about it right now anyway. Let's just focus on picking up points. <sighs> you got a point there, Beat. Well, let's check out those other areas. So, we can't exist in the RG no matter what we do? What kind of game is this? Confusing one. Like, we're starting to get kind of get into, like, the the meat of the story and frankly I just I can't really remember all too well what happened in the first game because I don't even remember them or recall them talking about Shinjuku but they must have huh what what something up Fred yeah I've never seen anything like this before like what yo uh, this noise at least I think it's a noise someone else scan it I mean, I, I can. Let me have a look. What the hell's up with that one? What the hell? Oh! I suppose combat is inevitable. Okay. We've got this in the bag. What is up with that one? It's like all crystal-like. Okay, guys, guys, it's. I I can't hurt it. I can't hurt it. Um. Burn, baby. Uh, I I don't know. I don't know what to do. 
Did it just stop? Okay, it stopped automatically. Okay. That was weird. H huh. Twas most fortunate those beasts chose to beat a hasty retreat. Uh, I couldn't even make them flinch. Damn, yo. I've never seen anything like them, yo. Frankly, I'm unsure those creatures were noise at all. Good point. All the court in the plan. Mm. <laughs> the hell, man? Ooh, look, another Uber pin, though. Runaway rocket. Uh, oh, it's a, what's a health pin? Hold the pin to slowly restore your team's HP. It will not refill automatically, though. What to do? Now, when they say that, let me see something new. Here we are. Do, do, do. So, uh, let's see. Three levels. Do, do. It does not evolve. I mean, you can use it for s over s almost six and a half seconds, and it reboots after 14. That's not terrible. Like, it's a continu continuous health thing. Um... Okay, so, I mean, there's a lot of uber pins I need to actually level up, and this is now another one of them. So, all in due time. I'll get around to it. But I want to find out more about that damn noise, though. That was interesting. Yeah. So, you kids got any tasty morsels of info for me? Yes. Sure. You want to hear about a story about Center Street? Ooh, a local legend. Okay, kid, lay it on me. Mm-hmm. This one's about some ghastly changing rooms. Apparently, if you use changing rooms at the clothing stores on Center Street, you vanish the second you leave the store. Never to be seen again. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard about that one, all, all right. So, what was really going on? You see, the thing about that is... Um... If we tell them the Varia Beauty was behind it, will that get them in trouble? There's still a chance we might team up. Maybe we should massage the truth a little. So, the person who disappeared was actually from the UG. They went to a store that serves players at, and tried on and tried on some stuff. And then they left without paying. <sighs> well, that won't do. One of the store clerks chased them as far as the exit, too. And that's when they saw the thief vanish before their very eyes. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Did you find out who the perp was then? Nah. Sadly, no. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Either way, it's time for me to pass judgment on your truth. Great. I believe you. That matches up nicely with what I heard. Uh, wait, what you heard? You mean you already knew the truth this whole time? Not in so many words. Plus, there's always more to learn, even when you spend every day looking into this stuff. So, I figured it wouldn't hurt to ask you kids to help out. You're bound to find something I overlooked. Documenting urban legends is my death's work. Come on, I can still count on you, right? I guess so. I'm sure we'll see see you again soon enough. Uh oh. Oh wait, there's one more thing I need to tell you. You've just earned yourselves thirty points. Of course, I'll happily lend a year if you got more stories to share. So leave no stone stone unturned in your search for the truths of truths. Okay. Well, that's. One. And... Now, let me, let me take a look here. So, there's... What? Six more Urban Legends, huh? <laughs> Yay! I'm definitely not going to be able to do all of them in today's video, but... I'll try... I'll, maybe I'll do one more. Let's go to Spain Hill, see what we've got to do in here. And frankly, I'm not even sure if there's anything, uh anything new here this place is supposed to have its own legend right i see i believe so however any information relating to it was erased hours ago who knew the reaper's influence extend to even a digital realm dang let's hope my sight can do the trick mm. you really think folks saying the same things every time will work though assuming said things are urban legends and, and mockistry then i i imagine it will perhaps the memories they awaken should be connected to our present location Basically, we're in the right place if we want to learn about Spain Hill's legend. Right? Quite. <laughs> Boss, you you answered my question! I'm gonna cry! 
use your psych first and cry later. Alrighty. Focus, Fret. Focus. Oh, hold on, before we focus. Uh, ooh, there's more food at Bubble Vision, because I think we just... I think because we did the extra thing majiggy there. So, I'll check it out later. Oops. Gotta focus. Yeah. So let's, what are we thinking here? Let's remember... Remember... Uh, uh, oh, come on. I was, like, super close. There we are. Come on, think. And... Oh, person's right there. Monthly shop. Maca Street says somebody who sits for an 18th step on a Spain Hill stairs goes straight to hell. Jeez. Sounds like we gotta check out the Spain Hill stairs, yo. <laughs> Set foot on the 18th step and go straight to go straight to hell. All right. I see. Who knew internal damnation was so close at hand? Close enough to see our see for ourselves. Let's go. That's scary, though. Whatever. Wait, what the hell's over here? Oh, are these? Oh, these are the steps. I thought they were talking about the steps, like really up. Let's have a look. Never mind. But really quick. Damn it! How do I? Get, where is the entrance over here? There it is. Gotta focus. So I'm still looking for pig noise. Let's have a look. Maybe not here. Okay. Okay. Start counting. Hey, Rin, dude, is there, like, a reason for us to do this together? <sighs> well, do you want to learn? Do, do you want to do this, then? The only way to avoid in, in, uh, in fighting is to ascend as one. Now, stop being so childish. Sure thing. All right, let's do this. Uh, here goes. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Whoa! You all right? Eh, it just tripped us all. Oh. The step slip guards conspicuously absent. That explain why B tripped. Wait, is that it? Go! Oh, you okay? Ow! You fell over so suddenly you scared me to half to death. Look, the slip guard's gone. How how have they not been sued already? Right, this is super dangerous. Whoa, well, that was weird. <laughs> My back felt all tingly for a second. Ah! Huh? Wait, where are you going? Wait! What the hell's going on? Wait, did that lady fall over at the 18th step? Well, I think so. Now she ran over so fast she could be an Olympic sprinter. Huh? Weird. I didn't feel nothing. Me neither. Well, I guess this legend was a fake. Hey, what happened back there? I, I, I... Lord Rindo. Uh, yeah, let's scan this lady, yeah. She seems incapable of explaining much uh, much herself at present. Good idea, Naki. Yeah, this is odd. Gotta focus. She's spooked. I never felt so terrified just slipping on the steps. I felt a shiver go down my spine. Well, apparently, she felt a shiver run down her spine. Doesn't sound like she knows what, what caused it, though. There must be something we're all missing what? here. I don't know, yo. Looks like a regular set of stairs to me. Come to think of it. B, you didn't actually fall over. <sighs> Maybe you didn't feel anything unless you hit the ground. <sighs> so, any takers? Someone's got to do it. How are we finna decide this? Rock, paper, scissors seems appropriate. Fine by me. Let's go. Okay, okay. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Shoot, yo. Pow. Curses. Sorry, boss. Do not weep for me. I shall accept my fate with humility. Time to huh? set. Uh. Whoa, whoa, you went ahead first. You okay, Penny? Yeah, you could try to soften our approach, boss. Well, how do you feel, Nagi? I. Huh? Uh. No, no, no! Huh? 
What? You see something? Get away from there, Penny! Hustle! I feel so cold all of a sudden. Well, let me try scanning the area. <sighs> the hell? It's Scorpion. No, it's a noise. Let's show out. Let's show what happens when you mess with the wicked twisters. Kiss your hide and spot. Goodbye, punk. I guess I could go around or two. Oh, now he's actually gonna be fighting with us, huh? Okay. Let's bring the pain, yo. I wasn't expecting that. I hate these. Whatever. Yes, got it. Oh crap! They're weak to something. I don't know which one it is though. If I'm getting hit pretty bad though. Alright. Oh, level up, nice. Oh, they're weak to fire. Okay, that's good. I might as well use the beat drop. But never mind. Interesting. It's an honor to be recognized. Hey, take a chance. What the hell is that? I guess noise is just hanging out anywhere these days. Never before have I felt so chilled to the bone. It is abundantly clear to me how this became an urban legend. You think it stung you or something? Yeah. Man, that must have really hurt. Not only do you fall over, but you get a surprise sting to boot. Like, I can't imagine things getting any worse for you. And I need to be reminded of my suffering. Anyways, we got all the info we need now. Let's report back to Reaper. We got Adamanti for that too. Let me think this through. But really quick, let's take a look at that new pin. Take a chance. Um, so we kind of had similar pins to this. I think kind of like this. No, 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 not, not that one. What the hell is it called? I think Minamoto is using it. Yeah, like, uh, watch your step and got your back. So this is, must be like an upgraded version of them. Uh, so yeah, take a chance. It's very strong. And uh, thrust your spear at the target. Keep attacking and knock the enemy back. You can confuse the enemy as well. And uh, you can only use it a few times before he has to reload. And it takes a little while to do so. But it has an ability called Rear Assassin. Only just a finisher when attacking an enemy from behind. Um... Frankly, I'd like to level this up, you know, try it out. But let's have, uh, let's have Nagi try it out. Now, if I'm not mistaken, let's have a look. Let's move. I believe we, uh, I don't think there's anything new here besides what's at the, the food place, but unfortunately I'm still full. I haven't Let's really have been fighting enough to, like, you know, get rid of it. But, uh, okay, and I don't see any pig noise, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Let me go back to a Reaper and, um... Hand him, hand him what we found. But what I'm interested... Can I just... Can't I just go to the areas, like, all of them? Because I'm sure I don't need to find out the... The Urban Legend for every area to get 100 points, right? Oh, so you got you kids got any tasty morsels for, yes. for for me? Sure. You want to hear a story about Spain Hill? Sure do. Come on, spill the beans. Mm -hmm. So there's a stairway, a stairway to hell. They say the second if your foot touches the 18th step, you get spirited away. Hard to believe, I know. Yeah. I've heard that one plenty of times. So tell me, what's the deal with this legend? Well, there was some scorpion-looking noise hiding out inside the stairs. Anyone who walked over it tripped and suddenly got the chills. <sighs> That's weird. They must have sung them or something. Regardless, the foul fiend's touch induces a considerable panic. And that's putting it lightly. No wonder it's got people talking. Alrighty, good job. Pass uh, judgment. And... Great. I believe you. You know, you kids might have a future in this line of work. 30 points. Good work, team. So, like, I'm a little bit confused here. Like, it seems like we got to do, like, maybe two more. But there's still, like, what, f five more areas? So, is he really gonna give us spread out 40 points among those five areas? Or, hmm. or how's this gonna work? Like, let me take a look at this really quick. 
yeah, there's yeah, there's five more urban legends here. Um, I just don't think like why would you split it up so little, you know? So it might just be like an extra thing just to do all the mysteries. I'll, I'll see about that. Uh, where, what time am I at? Oh man, it's over an hour. Gotta Jeez, focus. I, didn't it. I do want to try out. Um, that pin. It's go time. To see how it looks like time for Nagi. Who's up first? Uh, we're, it's, oh crap! I didn't realize I had the yeah. stupid uh, thing there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It could be a lot better. Keep it up, um, The thing is, because it takes so damn long to to uh, reboot, it's a little bit. Blech. An adequate performance. That's I mean, may like maybe once plus. it like levels up all the way, it's not terrible, but it's not a. Uh, it's fantastic. Especially with these stupid like uh, puffer fish enemies. They're probably my least favorite in this game. I can't tell if, if that's what's causing the most damage or not. Could have been worse. You feel? Oh, crap! I didn't even realize. There's another new pin, the world within. Hmm. And I gotta take a chance again. Interesting. So I yeah, think this through. through that really quick. So what the hell is this one all about? It's a grenade launcher. Tuss bomb. So we've seen this before, but this, this one's it's a light bomb. And it does have HP vampire and it evolves too. Hmm. Okay, now, now hold on. Who gave us these pins? Like, I feel like we... Didn't we fight all these enemies before? Okay, so... I, that's why I didn't realize. Okay, so this drum and stinger... It's actually the same... This is the first boss we fought in the game. As you notice here, because we didn't get any pins for it. It only had 2,000 HP, but now it's a regular enemy at 4,200 HP, but they actually drop pins. So, he gave us Take a Normal Chance. So, who gave us the other one? Oh, okay, th this one. It gave us the easy pin. Interesting. So, you know what? I, I think I may understand you know, these drop rates a little bit better now. Like, just because we're playing on hard doesn't guarantee that we're always going to get the hard pin, obviously. There's a chance we're always also going to get the normal or even easy pin. I think it's just, you know, once again, based on my level and whatnot, it calculates based on these percentages as well what I'm gonna more likely to get. So because, you know, it was just a one battle and the enemy was in there, there was a higher chance we may have gotten the easy pin, which is what we got here. So, um, okay. No, that, I guess that makes sense. I hope I, I guess that's what it is, frankly, because I, I really can't think of anything else. Uh, but yeah, so we still got quite a bit, actually. I can't believe that freaking more than an hour has passed in terms of recording. And, uh, it feels like, I mean, I, I don't necessarily feel like I'm going slow, but at the same time, I mean, sometimes there's just a lot of talking going on. I mean, I, I can see why this game, or just the whole series in general, is not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Uh, actually, I think there's a, uh, one, one of my favorite streamers that I watch he played this game when it first came out. It was like a sponsored stream, and he didn't play it again afterwards. And because it, it just wasn't for him. He's like, he thought it was going to be like a lot more action-y, but then he realized it was like really, really dialogue heavy sometimes. It kind of took him out of it, which is okay. So I feel like that's what kind of causes the game to kind of go its pace, but I don't mind. It is what it is. But anyway, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will uh, do some more riddle solving. 
and take it from there. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for Let's Play Neo. The world ends with you. Love you all so much. Have a great day.